Hey guys, welcome to your channel. In this video, you'll learn on how to create a button in AppSheet. So the very first thing that we should do here is we have to open any of our web browser and then we have to search for AppSheet and then log in to our account. Then once you're here, you'll be able to see here now your apps and your databases. Okay, so make sure to log into your account. You can check your account right here at the top right and you have your apps right here. So what we're going to do for this video, we are going to create a new app. So let me just delete some apps and some databases. So click on the create option at the top left of your screen and then you can create a new app with an existing data. Start with a template or a blank app. So I'm just going to create a new app with a blank app for this one. After that, select the type and then click on create app. Okay, so wait for a couple of seconds and then after that, you'll be able to see here now your app. So you just have to close this one. And at the right side, you can see here now the preview of your app. Okay, so you have this one right here. And then the next thing that you are going to do, you have those options at the left side of your screen, right? So you just have to go to the behavior section. And what you're going to do here is to create a new action, this one. So for the new action, you just have to click on the create a new action option. And then here for the action name, what do you want to do with this action? Okay, so you just have to give it a name. And then for the record of this table, you just have to select a table. Okay, so I'm going to select table one for this one. And for the do this type, so the type of action to perform. So what you're going to do here is to select the app and then copy this row or edit this row. So you have different options right here. So you just have to select the app and for example, edit this row. And then for the desktop behavior, we have this two different options. So I'm going to select edit in place. And for the position, we have primary the prominent and inline and hide so i'm going to select prominent for this one okay uh, i'm going to switch to primary or prominent so prominent or primary would do so it's up to you now for the display to display the menu so we have the display name right here so i'm going to select edit and then for the action um, icon, you just have to select your icon right here. You can also use the search bar to search for an icon you want to use. So I think I'm going to use this one. Okay. And then after that, just have to wait for a couple of seconds. And then the not forget to save it. And you'd be able to see here now your button so when you clicked on your button right here you'd be able to see here what's inside this button okay so since we label this one as edit and then the um do this type we also selected the edit so we can customize this details using this button okay so that's it for this video if you think this video helped you solve your concern Please subscribe, like this video, and leave your comment below. Bye.